Hello, hello. Have you ever wanted to run something, some functionality across many live view actions? For example, what if we want to run some authorization around handling events or handling params or handling info uh, callbacks, right? Things like that. We know that if we want to do authentication, we can use the on mount helper for live view. That is phenomenal and we want to use that. But what about if we want to do some other stuff when we, again, handle events or handle params when we're patching across live views, things like that. So live view comes with an attach hook helper that lets us attach custom hooks to each of those stages. So let's take a look at how we can do this. So we have uh, an app live auth here. It's just used, let me go to a router. It's just lose, used in a live session here. So on mount, we're gonna run that on mount helper, right? So that's phenomenal. And this is where you would typically do some authentication. In my case, I'm not gonna do authentication here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and attach two hooks. This is the attach hook helper function that is gonna do this for us. Now you can specify the name of the hook here and then what hook you're attaching to. Again, you can do handle params, handle event, handle info, and an after render. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna look at two of them here, but if you wanna look at the others, go ahead and look at the documentation. And then you pass an anonymous function with, um, that takes three arguments, right? In this case, the prevent malicious patch is just doing like a handle params, right? So we get the params first and then the URI and the socket. So what we're gonna do here is if we get a danger param here, Again, this sort of, uh, you know, I created this uh, the, just to explain these things. You can imagine other things here. But if we get this danger param, we're just going to go ahead and put a flash message and redirect away from a page we're going to take a look at in a second, right? We're going to redirect to the first um, directory here, if you will. And otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and continue that. So if there's no danger params, we're just going to continue and let the socket go through, right? In the first case, we're halting it. And... As far as the handle event here, we're just going to log every event that comes through. You can imagine here doing authorization. It's actually quite helpful here because you might want to auth, you know, perform authorization to make sure that uh, the user that signed in can actually perform a given action. So the, this hook can be very helpful for that. But in this case, we're just going to go ahead and log the event and the params. I just want to show you that we can plug into it and, and get all this information, right? So with that said, let's go to the browser and take a look at what we have here. So this is the directory, if you can see here, I can navigate between a few of these, but one of these is dangerous. Now, if you know anything about Lord of the Rings, you know Boromir might be dangerous, and there you go. We've intercepted that, we put that flash message, and we redirected back to Frodo, that is directory one. So you can't actually see Boromir, right? So pretty cool, this is being handled again through that attach hook. Now let's take a look at another live view that's gonna send some events, right? So this is a to-do list, pack bags, sell bag end, right? And now we should see this in our server log. So let's go ahead and look at those. And sure enough, we have this info right here. We're logging both the event, it was create, with all the params. So I hope you like this. It's a great way to attach something, some actions, some functionality across many, many live views for handle params, handle info, handle event, and after render. Hope you like it.